वेलकम एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गिव यू ए कंप्लीट रोड मैप टू लर्न पाइथॉन फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच एंड यू कैन बिकम ए जॉब रेडी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव इट डजेंट मैटर इफ यू आर ए बिगिनर और स्विचिंग द करियर और फ्रॉम नॉन आई टी टू आई टी सेक्टर और यू हेफ आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूर फर्स्ट इंटर्नशिप दिस गाइड इज डिजाइन परफेक्टली फॉर यू सो विदउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद दिस टू डेज वीडियo दैट इज how to kick start your career in python lot of people will have a one question that in the array of ai can i learn python the same question a lot of people will get it right but with ai tools like chat gpt writing the code should i still learn python the answer is yes python is a language behind ai automation web apps and data science learning python will give you a flexibility to move into the multiple tech fields AI tools can assist you, but they can't replace the solid understanding of the coding. So, in the area of AI, don't get any confusion. You can start with the Python, and it's a go-to language, so that within the less time, you can learn, and also you can build a great projects, and you can implement your upskilling courses in data analytics, data science, AI, ML, Gen AI, Genetic AI, a lot of things you can do with the Python. but there are a few mistakes that students will do i will talk about that first so i told you some mistakes are doing by the beginners then what are those mistakes the first mistake a lot of beginners will do is copying the code without really understanding this is a one of the crucial thing i have observed in a lot of students they will watch the video and they will feel like they understood the code and they will just copy paste so that it won't be the good practice to become a good programmer it will give you the instant satisfaction but it will never give you the problem solving ability so always do one thing whenever you are copying the code just stop it and just understand the code and give a one hour break and again come to back to the problem and code it on your own so that it can improve your problem solving ability and the second thing is skipping the basics so skipping the basics is very crucial mistake a lot of people will do they feel like i know loops i know functions i know recursion but they will never practice on them so knowing the theory doesn't matter you are a good programmer for example you can watch the videos how to drive a car but in reality you can't drive directly right so you need to have a good practice for a couple of days then only you can become a good driver so the theoretical knowledge will give you the idea how to do and everything in reality you will get a lot of mistakes and syntax errors and sometimes run time errors so you need to debugging those mistakes and you need to rectify yourself so same as a driving a car sometimes you will stop the engine while driving the car and you are unable to give the accelerator and you know how to release the clutch so all these things will come by practice not by watching the videos so i suggest one is to two framework always if you are listen to the theoretical lectures for one hour at least in the coding two hours you need to practice the next question a lot of students will get how much time should you practice to learn python really very well the thing when you come to the time and everything i don't trust the number of hours you will invest but i suggest within the one month you can learn a python for example i will give you a one week planner but in this one week what you have to do is you have to at least spend 3 hours a day to make a perfect or expert in the python programming language one is to two framework which is nothing but one hour theoretical lecture and two hours of hands on practice why i will always say hands on practice is nothing but it will give you a explore to the new errors and it will give you a lot of debugging ideas so practice is really important for example in the one month planner what you need to do is for example first one week learn the basics like variables data types loops functions and conditional statements like if elif and recursion the basic stuff in python hardly if you practice for them like one week 7 days into 3 hours 21 hours is more than enough to clear the basics of the python programming and the second one practice a small projects like implement a calculator or implement a to do list so these type of small projects will give you the boost to learn more coding so a lot of people what they will do is once we learn to the basics to the advanced level of python then i will start implementing the coding uh, projects it is a mistake 
whenever whatever you learn even it is a basics immediately implement that basics to a project so that you will make make good at those concepts and also it will give you a feel that you are productively working so it will boost your confidence as well and when coming to the week 3 explore the beginner friendly libraries like pandas and numpy so don't waste much time on basics more and more so with the two weeks it's more than enough and when coming to the third week explore with the frameworks so that you can know how to work with the frameworks like pandas and numpy very popular frameworks and also after that week 4 build a simple app maybe budget tracker or notes taking tool like these type of projects you can build from pandas and numpy so why i always say projects is the best thing is nothing but you don't have to wait to become expert start building the projects as soon as possible projects are or projects can give you hands on experience that help you to understand the concepts better and build a portfolio that you can share with the recruiters and other people as well. and also after building the projects a lot of people don't do nothing they will implement in the visual studio code or google collab or jupiter notebook they will implement the projects and they will li leave like that but it's not a good thing i always suggest you to boost your career always push your projects to linkedin or github so github is a mandatory thing every student need to learn hardly if you invest one hour of time you can get a all github commands and you can e easily use the github it's completely free and also linkedin so whenever you complete some project push it in the linkedin so that your connections also can know and even if you apply for any jobs or internships the recruiters will watch your profile so that where you they can see your projects and all if they feel interested they will offer you the jobs or internships and along with this a lot of people will have the question that is python skills alone is enough for the internships so in my thought python alone from the basic to advanced is not enough along with that at least you need to have a good knowledge in basics of data structures algorithms like arrays list stacks strings queues and all and do a problem solving practice with coding questions of these data structures and recognize the patterns among them and hardly if you know 10 to 12 patterns in the beginning as a beginner of the data structures it would be good and definitely you will have a good foundation for your internships as well and how can i get a help to learn python this is the one of the question why because recent days no one is learning like by watching only youtube or not by watching the courses after purchase in the era of ai you need to take the help of ai for example chat gpt or google notebook lm these are the most powerful tools that you can replace your regular ai tools like chat gpt or google notebook lm you can replace the regular learning process with these ai tools for example if you don't have much time to study about one concept in a one hour video so just copy that youtube link and paste it in the notebook lm and ask it for the simple remarks or simply report of it and notebook lm give you the report and you can just wow you that and you can learn for example if i already know about the loops concept but i just want to revise i don't have to watch and read completely the video right i can just see the remarks or report of the video and i can just revise the concepts so like this in the era of ai you can speed up the learning so these ai tools are helpers for you again ai will never replace you actually it is a assistant for you so you need to know how to use it if you don't know how to use it along with your learning in the future you might be not a person who good for the lot of it roles and last but not least here again i'm telling you this is a one month planner for python week 1 basics and week 2 is build projects and third learn any frameworks like numpy or pandas and fourth week you need to build the projects on them and push it to github and linkedin and you are good to go and along with that while you are learning you always include ai tools as a helpers so definitely you will become a good developer who are using ai tools along with your learning so that in the future also you can know how to utilize them for your projects as well so that's it in this video thank you so much see you guys in the another video